वेलकम दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ऑन सर्कुलर मोशन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन सो सपोज देर इज अ स्ट्रिंग ऑफ लेंथ आर एंड दैट एंड दैट यू आर रिवॉल्विंग दैट स्ट्रिंग इन अ वर्टिकल सर्कुलर सो लेट अस सपोज दैट देर इज अ सर्कल so let us consider that the center of the cent circle is o and you have a string of length r that is connected to a particle of mass m and you are re revolving that particle m in a horizontal direction okay so let me mark some more points in the circle so that we can consider some specific cases so let me mark this point as a this point as point b this point as point c and this point as point d so remember the first thing very first thing that in this vertical or circular motion it is a non uniform acceleration so it has a non uniform acceleration so if it has a non uniform because the velocity at different points changes so it has a non uniform acceleration so the velocity at point a point b and point c and point d differs by some amount okay it may be case that b and d the magnitude will be the same but the direction will be the different okay so first thing that we that you have to consider is that it is a non uniform acceleration okay now the second thing is let us suppose that <clears throat> the at some instant of time the particle is at position a so if it is at position a the two things will be acting one is mg that is the gravity that is the gravitational force due to gravity and the second thing is the tension in the string let's say that the tension in the string is t2 okay and the velocity of that particle of mass m let's say the particle of mass m is along in this direction and it is v2 let us suppose that it was v2 at this point a so this was the free body diagram at point a okay so what happens at point c let us consider an another point at point c then the mg will be acting downward and the tension t will also acting towards the center let's called here the tension is t1 and let's say the velocity of the particle is v1 in this direction okay so let us consider at highest and the lowest point so that we can conclude some minimum speed of the particle that it should have to be in the circular motion so let us consider at highest point what happens at highest point so at highest point let's say it is c then two forces is acting mg and the another one is t1 in this direction and the velocity is v1 in this direction so for circular motion let us write the radial equation of motion so radial force is equal to mass time acceleration in radial direction the so radial force is t1 plus mg that should equal to mv1 square by r so from here you can conclude that your v1 is equal to under root of this r by m and this is t1 plus mg okay so this should be your velocity at point c when we are considering the minimum velocity so so suppose the physical situation is that t1 is a tension in the string so t1 cannot be negative because it acts towards the center so it should be either zero or greater than zero so for minimum for minimum you can consider that the minimum velocity that is required for this vertical or circular motion that the tension in the string at the highest point that is t1 is zero so let us put t1 is equal to zero so your v1 that is the minimum velocity this is under root of r into g so this is the minimum velocity that a particle should have at the highest point so that it can be in the cir vertical circular motion so i am just writing here what i have said if speed at highest 
point is less than under root of rg then it won't be or move in circle so that was the thing so to be in a circle to be in a vertical circle the minimum speed should be this at the highest point so i just changed the color of my screen so because many of you suggested to use the black background so i did not find the black background in my uh, change color page theme so i just use this color and it, i will see if there is black option available so uh, now the thing is that we have find the radial equation of motion what about the transverse equation of motion okay from the above equation we just concluded that that the v1 minimum at highest point should be under root of rg so let us see the other cases okay so this was the center of the circle now consider that this is the highest point i was calling it at c so at any given instant of time let us take the general case where let us call that this the angle between the highest point at any instant of time is theta so when we writing the force component so there will be one force mg acting downwards and this angle will also be theta so this component will be mg of cos theta and this component will be mg of sin theta so in tangential direction or in theta direction there is only one force that is mg sin theta so when we write ft that is the tangential equation of motion that is mg of sin theta so that is mass time acceleration of tangential direction is mg sin theta this mm cancel out so this at will become g sin theta and i have derived in the previous lecture in the previous two or three lectures that a t or a theta was the same for the circular motion and it was d v t by d t so from here you can conclude that d v by d t is equal to g sin theta and what is what was v v was r times omega that is r times theta dot and theta, your theta dot is nothing but d theta by dt it is just a representation that d theta by dt is theta dot i will write okay so it is r d theta dot by dt is equal to g of sin theta and r is the radius of the circle okay r is the radius of the circle so from here you can get the velocity of the particle see uh, your theta dot is d theta by dt so by chain rule sorry your theta you got d theta uh, this is your term finally present here so you can write it as this way you can write it as d theta dot by d theta into d theta by dt this is your chain rule so it is theta dot d theta by dt okay so this you can write this equation can be written as theta dot d theta by dt is equal to g by r of sin theta now you just have to use some mathematical techniques that is integration and integration to solve this equation so this was the equation so from here we get theta dot d theta dot integration is equal to g by r of sin theta and integration okay so this integration is on sorry this will become d theta so sorry i have written it wrong this will be become d theta so this integration is along d theta so theta so in circle what we have this was the theta so it will vary from 0 to any angle of theta okay so the limit was 0 to any angle theta so at 0 this position at 0 let's say the velocity is v1 and now you have to put the limit of theta dot so v is equal to r theta dot so your theta dot limit will be v1 by r and let's say when it came at this point b that was v by r 
okay so that was the limit at 0 and theta the velocity the the value of theta dot so this will become theta dot square by 2 is equal to g by r and when you put the limit uh, it will become 1 minus of cos theta okay so this will become v square minus v1 square by 2 of r square okay so this will become g by r of 1 minus cos theta so when you came this equation so when you simplify it this will become v square is equal to v1 square plus 2g r minus of 2g r cos theta i just x uh, uh, 2 to this r r will cancel out and use this 2 r will go this side and 2 g r minus 2 g r cos theta so from here we, uh, what we have derived that v1 was under root of rg that was for circular motion that was the minimum speed at at the upper point so your v square will become rg sorry rg plus 2 rg minus 2 g r of cos theta so you can get the simplified version of this equation that the velocity v is equal to under root of rg let me use the same symbol which we i was using that capital rg this is 3 minus 2 of cos theta okay so that is the velocity general velocity at any instant of point in the vertical circular motion so let me have the velocity at different positions so if i have a circle okay and so at highest point let me call that as point a this was the center and this radius is r okay so at highest point that theta angle was is zero so here theta is equal to zero so if you put theta is equal to zero it cos theta is equal to one so it will become 3 minus 2 so here the velocity v1 is under root of rg if you come to this point and the let me call the vertical motion is the circular motion is going in this particular direction so if you go to this direction let me call the velocity as v2 and here the theta is equal to pi by 2 and you when you put cos theta is equal to pi by 2 it will give simply 3 rg so here the velocity is 3 rg if you come to the lowest point so here the angle is pi so what is cos pi so cos pi is minus 1 so here you will get the velocity under root of 5 rg let's me call it as velocity 3 when you further extend it this angle is pi plus pi by 2 this will become 3 pi by 2 so here the velocity is let's say v4 and when you calculate it it will again come out to be under root of 3 rg so that was the velocity at some uh, specific points that you should know that the highest point at under root rg these two points that are, are under root 3 rg and the lowest point it has under root 5 rg so that is a minimum velocity so this was the minimum velocity of a particle to have in circular motion so this was the formula let me have one more thing and what we have just derived here let let's see here what was the thing it was this equation v square so I am rewriting this equation again and have some funny thing in front of you. Okay, so let me go it here. So the equation which we get it was v square minus of v1 square is equal to 2rg of 1 minus of cos theta. So let me again rewrite it as v square is equal to v1 square plus 2 g and let me write it as r of 1 minus cos theta so i am making a mistake again again i am writing so let us consider this capital r is equal to small r because i am in habit to write this small r so that's why okay so this was the equation you remember the uh, third equation of motion 
the third equation of motion is v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h or 2 a s okay here a is equal to g and s is equal to h so i when i was in circular motion okay so this was the center let us call and this was the height h let's call the radius r which is same as a small r when you come to this angle theta okay what is this height how much height we have dropped it so this is total height r and this height is r of cos theta because this is r so this is r minus r cos theta so this height what we are i am talking about this height so this height h is equal to r of 1 minus of cos theta which is same as this okay so in circular motion also you can write v square is equal to v1 square plus 2 g h where h is nothing but the height from the initial position at get at any given instant of time so where it is useful in solving problem suppose this was your circle so let me erase this one part so let me erase this one okay so suppose you are in a circle and you are at this at at this point okay and uh, you know the velocity at this point is u and you want to find the velocity at this point let's say v and here the distance separation between these two is h so from up to down if it c from circular motion it is clear it here the minimum velocity and you was going down the velocity increases so when you are going from up to down you have to use this let me call it as v this v is v square is equal to u square plus 2g of h where this h is the height if you know v and you want to calculate the u and you are so in this case you are coming from up to down and if you are going from low to up you have to write this u square is equal to v square minus of 2 g h okay because when you go up the velocity will decrease so you have to min use minus 2 g h and when you are coming from up to down you have to use plus 2 g h so you can directly use the third equation of motion that is v square is equal to u square plus 2 as in the circular motion concept because that acceleration due to gravity g is here constant okay so that was the thing when while solving the problems you can directly if you know the velocity at any point and you want to find the velocity in another point which is separated by a dis distance displacement h so you can calculate it okay so this was about the vertical circular motion and we have seen that the different positions so the upper point has velocity under root of rg lower point had minimum velocity of under root 5 rg and the two other points which we have seen at angle pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 it was under root of 3 rg so that was the minimum velocity at different points for the motion to be in the circle okay so we will see some problems based on this uh, vertical circular motion in the next lecture and we will define what is the radius of curvature of the curve and we will see the vert uh, circular motion for a extended object these were some point objects and we were considering only the point objects and their circular motion in the next lecture we will be having some extended objects like some rod or some sphere that is rotating and let's have that circular motion okay so till now this is okay so thank you and if you have not subscribed and shared the channel please do like share and subscribe the channel if you are getting a positive things from it then only thank you